Her drone may be responsible for scaring away thousands of birds from a local wetlands, and it's not the only one. Now, Huntington Beach police say they're getting involved to help find the drone owner. NBC4's Vicki Vargas is in Bolsa Chica now to explain for us. Vicki. Yeah, Chuck, this is actually the Bolsa Chico wetlands. It is the largest saltwater marsh between Monterey Bay and the Tijuana River. Now, we talked to the folks at the Bolsa Chica Conservancy. They say the environmental loss isn't just the thousands of birds that have disappeared, but also what they left behind. If things were as they should be, then experts say this turn nesting island would look like a scene from a Hitchcock movie with thousands of birds circling above. But in May, there was an aerial predator that scared an estimated 3,000 elegant terns away. And this is what they left behind. Nearly 2,000 newly hatched eggs nestled in small divots on the sand. Experts say this is their breeding season. The terns make an annual migratory stop at the wetlands. There's a potential for these birds to uh, have a second clutch. Uh, but we don't know if the chances could be slim. We don't really know at this point. Authorities say this was the aerial predator, a drone that flew over the island and dropped from the sky. They are looking for its owner. Flying a drone over Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve is considered a misdemeanor, so they could be facing anything from a citation up to one year in jail. There are signs around the wetlands warning hikers and bird watchers not to bring dogs, bikes, or drones. The area is considered protected habitat. That's because it is also home to the endangered California least tern, which nests nearby on the same type of sand island. These birds are endangered, so they're very important to our environment and our ecosystem, of especially the wetlands. So important that volunteers come to chronicle the lease turns to make sure their numbers are not decreasing. California Department of Fish and Wildlife officers say the owner of this drone landed his radio controlled device in the least turn habitat. He was identified and cited. Now police say they will be on the lookout for anyone breaking the law from the air or on land. Keep in mind, these birds actually lay their eggs on the ground. So anything at ground level would be a threat. They're not in nests. They're not up in trees. Uh, we also know that those eggs still out on that island. And authorities say they are no longer viable. They will likely be eaten by predators. Live at Bolsa Chica, I'm Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.